Next thing I have to do is change both of them idlers. There's a couple different ways you can do this. I do not have any snap ring pliers, so. Let's get this one, there we go. Once you lift it up, it comes off the rest of the way easily. Famous last words. There we go. Might be painful to watch, but got a wafer washer, got a worn out bearing, and another wafer washer. A couple ways of doing this. Some people say you have to take the heater out which is this piece and this back piece because there's a half inch of nut back here. Now if you're lucky enough drop your vice grips Surprisingly, there are no lock washers at all. It's not going to hurt. Now, if That's going to tighten up good. I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and bring it back. Surprisingly, the um, part of the pin that faces the dryer bit into the metal and allowed me to tighten it without having to use vice grips. do this. This one you can actually get behind with a half inch. And guess what? This one comes off all one assembly. Washer. I don't know how much you're getting to see, but it's close quarters here. This is just, this thing was just weird. Because it came with one wafer washer and one um, washer, I would assume, to put 
pressure on it, but they're both the same. <clears throat> they're both the same size, and the old ones didn't have it. These are original. If anybody knows, let me know. The way I look at it, this lasted maybe 20 years.